Cybersecurity encompasses a lot of things. Uh, it could be as simple as, are you using you know the same password on multiple websites? Don't answer the question, because I know you are, because yep. everybody is. <laughs> are you using a password manager to help you create strong passwords so you don't have to remember all those passwords and instead keep yourself safer? No, but should you? Yes. yes. And when you're done listening to this, should you go figure out what a password manager is? Please do. But that's personal cybersecurity, and it's mm -hmm. still super valuable, right? You don't want your bank information compromised. But let me tell you a secret. I don't need your bank information to compromise your bank. Do you know what I need? Your email. Do you know why? You hack my email, and there's emails in there. All I have to do is, no, nah, well, you're very close, but let me explain. If I can get into your Gmail account, mm -hmm. then I can look in your history and see that you use Wells Fargo. Then I can go to Wells Fargo, type in your Gmail account, and say, password reset, please, and I now own your bank account and I didn't have to do anything with your bank. So I if your Gmail password is not super secure and you're listening to me right now, you should be scared. Go make your password safe. And turn on two-factor authentication, which yes. get a text message or whatever. Your Gmail account is one of the big Achilles heels in personal cybersecurity and no one ever thinks about it. I know you're all thinking about it right now. Good, yeah. I did my job. So cybersecurity from the perspective of corporate mm -hmm. is I'm writing software applications. Are they safe? Do they keep the users safe? Do they not leak data? Do they not expose information they shouldn't? Are they using encryption, et cetera? Okay, that's one facet of it. Are we developing securely? Are we using uh, secure coding practices to make the software be as safe as possible? That doesn't just mean you know insulate from bugs. There's always bugs, that's fine. It is a thing, it's just what you do. You fix them when you find them. But when there's a bug, do we fail safe so that the software doesn't open itself up just because there's a bug, those sorts of things. And then also, are we making sure that our customers can consume our software and recognize that it is actually safe um, and signed and secure as opposed to just any random piece of software floating out there that looks like us? Those are all things that are involved with cybersecurity. Also, architecture. Am I doing things the right way? If I've got to have two different systems talk to each other, there's definitely a right way to do that that's safe and a wrong way to do that that's not safe. Which way are we doing it? Mm -hmm. And how? Can, every time we want to do something like that, can we make sure we're doing it safely? You're asked, is it different? Is there a difference between cybersecurity and software? And I want to answer you with no, because if you're doing software and you're not doing it safely with cybersecurity in mind, you're not doing software. You're doing something wrong, because in my opinion. They, they go hand in hand. Yeah.